Up is underway in those towns impacted by the tornadoes. WBZ's Ken McLeod shows us the damage. As Henri makes its rainy exit from Massachusetts, hopefully without any overnight flooding, many locals are still talking about the trio of tornadoes it triggered. A man driving on 495 captured what appears to be a wispy twister spinning right alongside the highway in Marlboro, and the National Weather Service is now confirming it was an EF0 tornado that knocked down this tree onto some cars at a nearby industrial park. And then it just whipped around, and came over our building, over that building, and then over Ken's Foods. Just got a tornado warning on the phone, and that is a tornado. That was the first of three weak tornadoes in Metro West to spin off the spiral bands of Henri this afternoon, one of them dumping a tree across Route 117 in Stowe, and the other laying a tree on some power lines in Bolton. In Shirley, it was the same cluster of northbound trouble, but no confirmed twister. If anybody wants free wood, come get it. <laughs> Chad Billado managed a chuckle tonight, having made some progress on the downed oak that strafed his Oxford home, but he's certainly weary of Henri. I'd be happy to see it go, for sure. I don't have to worry about uh, anything else falling. Across central Mass, evening brought Henri's parting shot, that second soaking wave of rain, with a distinct tropical feel. Uh, it doesn't feel like Massachusetts, that's for sure. And as Matt Mangano put his son in the car in between the raindrops tonight, he, like many others, was done with Henri. Yeah, we're ready for it to go. Ready to enjoy the last couple of days of summer and hopefully get some pool days in. Three confirmed tornado touchdowns is certainly a headline grabber. The lack of damage, though, is yet another fortunate break for Massachusetts during Henri, courtesy of Mother Nature. In Auburn tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you.